get to Dornay and Gillen Donan Castle. It's a bit noisy here at this busy road, but we've come through Folk Realm and up past the Nevis Range. We've got quite a nice view of the Ben, all covered in cloud as usual. Well, we're just driving along, heading towards Dorney and the castle, and driving along the side of this loch. The water's low, you can really see it, but it is one of the most beautiful drives. The scenery everywhere is just amazing. You almost want to stop in every lay-by just to get a shot. And I stopped a, a little while ago at the Glengarry Viewpoint, they called it. But you couldn't actually see the Glen from there, there's so much uh, thick foliage all round. It's very difficult to see anything. It certainly wasn't a shot. I was slightly disappointed with that. But there might be somewhere to stop along here. Steep mountains on either side of the loch. Light's not great at the moment, but can't have everything, eh? So I've found another place to stop. I found this very nice waterfall, surrounded by lovely hills and mountains. So let's see if we can find a nice view of it. Let me just flip you around. You certainly get a much better view of the waterfall from here. The background is a little lacking. If I just push you up, you'll see. Kind of boring. There's fairly spectacular mountains up that way. And round there is the best of them all. So if somebody could just rearrange this waterfall for me so it points in the right direction, I'd be very grateful. In the meantime, let's see if we can do anything with it at all. Okay, there's so another one that's going to need an exposure blend. Um, Partly because I actually, I think I want some slow shutter speed ones. So I'm going to try first of all with a, a faster shutter speed for the foreground. And then the background. And then a slower, uh, much faster shutter speed for the sky. Then I want to see if I can really slow this down. So, let's pop the polarizer on. I might have to put on the 10 stop. 
I'm just using the screw-in filters. All my lenses are the same diameter, so I have no problem with that. Right, let's zoom in. There we go, darkened it down enough. Fifteenth of a second, probably not slow enough. Let me just have a look. Yeah, not really slow enough. Definitely get some movement. I can always put the 10 stop on, but I want to try a different angle. I want to see if I can get more of the waterfall. Let me just try and brighten this up for you so you can see what I'm looking at. So I've got the whole of the falls coming all the way down and that conical kind of mountain behind it. I love the way the light comes and goes and it's fleeting across these hills. Could do with some right in that deep crevice in the back left there though. Well, we made it to Elan Donan and uh, wandered around. Actually, I just had to sit for half an hour while the rain stopped. Uh, so I had a wander around and I think I've got a nice viewpoint here. Um, let me just show you on the back of the camera what we're looking at. I've gone for a center horizon so that the reflection shows up nicely. And I've got the castle over on the left third and the bridge coming over it. And you can see through the arches and the bridge to the water the other side. Just gives a nice little bit of clearance there. I've also got the polarizer on. Uh, try and take a little bit of glare off the, the brighter parts of the water, but leave the uh, reflection undisturbed. And I'm uh, exposure bracketing as well for that sky, so I can still get some detail, because it's just blown out completely if I leave it as it is. Right, I think it's time for a cup of coffee. I was hoping to be here for sunset, but uh, parking is a bit of a nightmare at the, um, at the castle these days. It's uh, three pounds for two hours, and that runs out at half past four, and sunset's not till 10 past eight. So uh, I think I'll go and see if I can find a viewpoint outside of the castle grounds and see what we can do there. In the meantime, off to the coffee shop and uh, have a nice cup of coffee, maybe look in the gift shop as well. So plans have changed a little bit. Um, I was planning to meet up with a friend um, and plans have changed. So instead of going the way I was planning to, we're not going to get a sunset tonight around here anyway. I've decided to go the extra distance and go over to Sky. So I've left the castle, I'm still on the A87, but this time heading to the Kyla Blockhaus and the Sky Bridge and across the water to Sky. Oh, I've just had the first little glimpse. There they are.
weekend because I'm in any of them this weekend. Judging by that windsock, so time to pop it down a gear. 